Hi, mm -hmm. it's uh, Krzysztof Kubasek. Today we're gonna go through the creating an iconic chair named Organ Chair designed by Mark Newson. Uh, so this is example of conceptual organic modeling. Uh, we go and go through uh, sketching profile curves, uh, which we use uh, later to make uh, solids by loft comments. So this chair uh, generally look uh, difficult at the beginning. Uh, but if you find the right profiles and set them up uh, properly according to some coordinates uh, system, then it's becoming uh, easy. Uh, so let's just start. So first we need to um, make a new workspace. Okay, and uh, go to the right view. Are we going to start to create? So first I'm going to uh, make a uh, kind of symmetry line. So this line helped me to create a mirror of my profile later. And also, uh, be sure you have set a uh, second and one before last uh, point of your uh, profile horizontally at the same line with first and last. Uh, this is kind of trick to not make uh, edgy surface uh, connection at your form. Uh, I'm using this trick to automate smoothing, tangent and continuity between surfaces straight at the level of uh, carve creating. As you spotted, I've used the uh, line I've created at the beginning as a symmetry line to uh, mirror my profile. So now I will delete this uh, line because I want to have one even uh, profile. So now I'm going to give this profile direction of my uh, chair and I'm going to set the line which will help me to create construction plane uh, by through the edge and at angle the construction geometry always help uh, to mm, arrange uh, stuff according uh, some coordinate system in this case according to the plane I need to copy uh, my profile, so I'm going to copy by transform tool. I need to have it once uh, copied here, just next to, to the first one. I need to have another one which gonna narrow the form of the chair in this place in the middle. Once you launch the transform command, you can change the profiles and uh, play with them uh, separately. When you're making some conceptual work, you always have to make a tryout. Mm, uh, in this case, I need to find the, the right angle. So in this case, I need to find the right angle for my backrest profiles. So it's uh, all basically experimenting with the, the right adjustments. This profile is going to be the narrowest part of my chair, so I'm going to resize it. So if you're not happy of your profile settings, you can just uh, make a, a back step and correct it and make it again as long as you're happy. I think I need to adjust uh, the backrest uh, a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see, I can just uh, select the, the one profile and then still be on with your transfer comment. This is great.
okay I think I'm happy with it so now I need to just uh, go and find the loft comment and select each profile okay uh, it's looking great so uh, now I need to create uh, another profiles so this profile is gonna be a uh, legs profiles so I'm going to create a one circle and then I'm going to uh, duplicate that circle and resize it so as uh, you can see right now I've created a circle now I'm going to use a transform tool okay and just use arrows to drag uh, and uh, drop by copy be sure to select the copy from the panel above So now it's ready and now I need to just uh, make a loft comment again and then I need to just uh, set this legs in, uh, in the places where they supposed to be. So I make uh, two copies of one of my uh, legs, the one of them I'm gonna use as a back uh, leg and then I'm going to intersect them. Of course, I'm going to rotate mm, and found, find the right angle. Uh, make sure any edge of your leg is not uh, sticking out of the form we have to intersect them evenly so we're gonna make them uh, fill it later and when you're placing the leg in the right position you might need uh, very often to be in the right uh, uh, view so to change view to switch between views you just need to tap once uh, on the top 3d box and then yeah, you can switch between views okay I think it's done so now to help myself to create another one the same one on the on the other side I need to create the line which will help me to create construction plane uh, and I'm going to use this construction plane to uh, mirror first leg on the other side. Using construction planes uh, in Sharper 3D is uh, crucial. It helps you a lot to organize your design at the stage. Okay, so let's play a little bit with the back leg. So I need to set up the right view and then uh, resize it and place it in the right place and make it um, both solids intersected. Now we need to use union tool to join all of these uh, objects together to be one solid and now we can make a uh, fillet at the connection edges.
if you want to be more accurate you can type a uh, size of fillet manually as I did before by just tapping the uh, white lab label next to fillet and the same on the back Okay, so now I just need to uh, cut the legs uh, flat to have them on the ground. I just need to create a rectangle and extrude it and, and use it as a profile, as a cutting uh, tool. I've created uh, the rectangle in the mid plane of coordinate system. So now I'll move it aside by using transform command. Then I'll just extrude it. So now I'll use a uh, subtract command. So remember, first you need to select the object you are subtracting in and then tool, which is object you are subtracting with. Now I just need to fill the legs at the bottom. So I will hide all of unuseful stuff, sketches and construction planes to see better what's on the stage and select the edges and just uh, pull it down to get the right uh, profile of my fillet. The last thing I need to do is just uh, to shell my object. So I'm going to select the surfaces. Um, I want to be shelled and then just make a thickness. A little bit of uh, last touches which is filleting edges and I can move straight to uh, color adjustments Okay, before I start to make a colors, I'm going to uh, turn anything I don't need on the stage, which is uh, sketches and uh, planes. And now I need to go straight to colors. And this is going to be last part of this tutorial. So uh, you've learned how to use the profiles to loft. We have been using a union tool, a little bit of filleting. So as we gone through all of uh, the design, uh, that wasn't that difficult to create that. You just to have the right profiles, work a little bit uh, uh, with the right adjustments and, uh, and basically this is it. So uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.